everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd tell you all about my top five favorite Pixie skincare products. I mean, if somebody was to say to me, what's your favorite makeup brand? There is no way on this earth that I could pick one because there are, I just use far too many and I just love far too many brands. But if somebody was to ask me what my favorite skincare brand is, I'm 99.99% certain I would say Pixie. I just use so many of their products and I have tons of like brand new stuff that I haven't even tried yet. They very kindly send me out a few bits every month and I just love the brand. I wouldn't obviously be talking about them if I didn't like them. And I've used some of these products for like four or five years, maybe a bit longer. And I just think they're such a nice high-end quality but affordable skincare brand and what more could you ask for so these are like my top five but i mean even as i was making this list and like i like have a whole thing full of notes i don't know why i do it on paper because i always end up typing it out anyway into a blog post Oh, I always do this but even as I was making this list I was like oh but I also love this I also love this so maybe I'll do another one in the future but currently these are like my top five I can't really live without these products so first up it will come as no surprise to hear me talking about the glow tonic this is like such a cult product and like if there's one word that you associate with pixie it's glow and this is just incredible I have two I have the gigantic industrial size version that they've sent me which is personalized it has my name on it and this tends to last me like two years maybe a bit longer maybe it won't last me that long this time around because last year i was hardly at home i was traveling loads and so it took me a long time to go through it but obviously now we're in lockdown and so yeah anyway i also always have one of their travel size ones in my travel toiletry bag and i just always think it's a real shame that you can't refill these but i quite like the um packaging on that because you don't get too much product like it's not wasted but yeah the glow tonic has been like a staple in my routine for like four or five years now this was the very first pixie product that i ever tried and i've just used it ever since if you don't know what it is it's like a toner so gone are the days of like physical exfoliants i'm sure we all remember that st ives that awful st ives apricot like facial scrub and it had like bits of crushed walnut in it that we all used to use back in the 90s and it was just the worst thing ever for your skin now i don't use any kind of physical exfoliator on my face this is a chemical exfoliator so it doesn't damage my skin and it actually contains five percent glycolic acid which means that it's gentle enough to use on a daily basis and i mean i would like to say that i use it every day but i don't because i am quite lazy with my skincare like i'm not that good at it on days where i'm not wearing makeup which is quite often so i mean i do use it at least four times a week so you know i just i literally just cleanse my face i apply it onto a cotton wool pad and just rub it all over my face let it sink in for a few minutes and then go in with like a moisturizer or a serum or an oil or whatever i'm putting on overnight but i wake up with the softest smoothest skin i have refined pores and my appearance is just a lot brighter and in fact every time i feel like i'm getting like a breakout somewhere like whether it's a hormonal one or like a heat rash or whatever i would literally use this like every single day sometimes twice a day if i'm not going out during the day and not exposing myself to sunlight but i wouldn't recommend that and it just gets rid of like all my breakouts and it's incredible so i just think that if you haven't tried pixie before and you want to dip your toes into like their skincare range you just cannot go wrong with the glow tonic it's absolutely incredible and it's not a cult product for no reason like believe the hype it is as good as people say it is <laughs> the next product is a relatively new one from them this is their vitamin c serum hopefully you can see it i my skin is actually quite sensitive to vitamin c so i've tried products from other brands before and i always break out and i just think it's that vitamin c element in products but this one i can get away with using like every other day and i just i love vitamin c because of the brightening properties that it has in it and so this is the facial serum that i use in the mornings it just really helps with like uneven skin tones especially if you're like asian or a person of color we're more prone to hyperpigmentation dark spots or any kind of like uneven skin tone just because we have a lot more melanin in our skin and vitamin c really helps with that so i have been using this for quite a long time and i have to say that i haven't noticed a huge difference because touch wood 
so far i don't have like a lot of hyperpigmentation i have the odd few dark spots and in fact i don't even know if they're still there so i just really like how this helps to brighten up my skin and it obviously is a serum so it's really good for you and it feels really nice on the skin i also really like that it has like a really faint lemony sort of citrusy scent but if you have like sensitive skin or if you're sensitive to like stuff that contains fragrance you may not like that speaking of the vitamin c serum i also use this in conjunction with the vitamin c lotion which is another one of my favorites again like i don't use both of these products every single day i will admit partly because i'm not that great with skincare and i'm not wearing makeup but also because i don't want to overload my skin because i know that if i in the past when i've worn these for like three days in a row my skin does break out and that's only because I am quite sensitive to vitamin C but if I wear it every other day I have no issues and I combine it with the glow tonic on the days I have worn it particularly and my skin doesn't break out touch wood but these two together is just such a great combination again I love the faint citrusy scent but you may not if you don't like fragrance in your products this is actually described as a lotion but it's got really creamy texture it's quite like a th it's like oh, I'll show you like it's quite thin and runny oh like that and it does smell nice it's not overpowering so it's not too in your face if you don't mind fragrance but it is quite creamy and it sinks in really really well as you might be able to see probably put a bit too much on for the back of my hand but there we go so it sinks in really really well it's a lovely base for makeup it feels very hydrating and nourishing on the skin which is obviously what you want i tend to put a blob of the lotion like into onto my fingers and then use the um what's this called oh i've completely lost the word this dropper I drop a couple of drops of this into the lotion and then just apply it all together because otherwise it just kind of runs through your fingers and like gets everywhere and it basically goes everywhere but your face. So I find it quite useful to mix the two together and then just apply it to my face. I think because of the texture of this lotion or cream, it's a really good one for summer because you don't want something really rich that's like a really thick layer, especially if you're gonna put SPF on afterwards, which you should all year round, I'm just saying. But yeah, I absolutely love this. And I'm actually, I've got less than a third of this left. So I'll definitely be repurchasing this next time. I would say it's the perfect moisturizer for normal to combination skin. If you have sensitive skin or you're a bit sensitive to vitamin C like me, you might just wanna like try it, like try it every other day. But like I said, out of loads of different brands I've tried, these are the only vitamin C products that I can actually use like every other day and my skin is fine with them so definitely check those two out especially if you're a person of color um, i just think vitamin c is like such a great ingredient in any skincare product that you use okay the next one i'm sure you've probably heard me raving about this i think i probably might have filmed a review video on this product alone in the past or written a blog post or something i know i've raved about this a lot this is actually a brand new one that i have this is the pixie and caroline hiring double cleanse so it's oh something has leaked on my box i have a brand new one i must have been through about 10 of these in the past i'm currently using something different which i have maybe like one or two more uses out of then i can go back to this one but i absolutely oh something really has leaked in this box okay i'll be back right i've had to do this because yeah it's not this it was in a drawer with loads of other skincare so something's definitely leaked but it's a cleanser it's two cleansers in one is what it actually is and i love the idea of this because i just think it's really great because caroline hiring is all about double cleansing and it's something that i learned at beauty school years ago but i guess the world like people that don't go to beauty school or aren't skincare experts just don't know about it and you should always double cleanse your skin especially when you're wearing makeup and so it's really good like for encouraging people to do that my only issue with this is i go through one side quicker than the other and i wish they would bring it out as two separate products to purchase because that would be really good oh okay that was fun so the two products are separated by like a swirly divider 
I don't know if you'll be able to make it out because it's all white. So one side is a solid cleansing oil, which is my favorite. I absolutely love that. It just melts makeup off in like seconds and it's great. The other side is a cream cleanser, which is nice. I don't always use it because if I'm wearing makeup, I will generally use my cellar water to get rid of like the first layer, then go in with like a solid cleansing oil, which is the first half of this if you like. And then I don't really want to do a third cleanse. Sometimes I will if I feel like I haven't taken it all off, but more often than not, I will use the cream side in the mornings as like a facial wash sort of cleanse. And that's what I really like it for. But this is why I say that I tend to go through one side quicker than the other. And it's always dependent on whether, if I have like a month where I've worn loads of makeup, then I'll go through the oil side quicker. And if I have a month where I haven't worn loads of makeup, I'll just use the other side in the mornings and I'll go through that side quicker. So that, can be a little bit annoying as is the packaging it's very bulky it's not the most ideal thing to travel with so i don't often take it with me when i travel i do sometimes depot the cleansing oil half of it into like a smaller container and just take that with me but it's not very travel friendly not that we're traveling anywhere at the moment but yeah like i said there is a divider that splits both products so they don't they don't actually like mix together it's not like that and i just really like that it leaves my skin feeling really soft and smooth but not like stripped because that is what you don't want that means that a, the product has like stripped your skin of its natural oils and it leaves it far too dry so this just feels really quite nourishing on the skin and i really like that and also what i really like is the cleansing oil side of it doesn't leave like an oily residue on your face because i've tried cleansing oils in the past and your skin just feels really weird so i'm not a fan of that but this one is just great and like i said it's fragrance free and it might look a little bit basic but that doesn't really bother me because it just means that there's nothing really in it that will irritate my skin so it's a really great cleanser if you're just getting into like a skincare routine or if you're just getting into makeup or just if you want a new cleanser do you know what i mean okay so the fifth favorite really surprised me because it's not something that i thought i would like and pixie sent this one to me and i was like oh should i try it should i pass it on to like friends or family because i'm not sure that i'll use it and i gave it a go and oh my god i actually really like it i mean it's made my top five this is their glow mud mask normally i'm not the biggest fan of like clay and mud masks because i just find that they're really drying on the skin and you need like proper upper body strength to like remove them sometimes but with this it isn't like that it comes off really easily and i don't need to put any real effort into removing it so i literally just apply this to cleanse skin and i leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes and i get like a hot damp face towel and just take it all off just how i would like a cleanser a little bit more effort than cleanser but nothing like regular mud or clay masks so i think it's really great for that and it's actually quite hydrating on the skin as opposed to being dry which is the first because my skin just feels really deeply cleansed and it looks so glowy afterwards i absolutely love it if you find that your skin often gets like congested or you're prone to like hormonal or whatever break like not acne i'm not talking about that but like just little breakouts here and then and sometimes mine does and i think it's when i have like a lot of dairy or if i've just been eating a lot of crap this is a really good one to use i always just use this when i feel a little bit congested along with the glow tonic of course and it just keeps all the blemishes at bay and i just absolutely love it but yeah those are my current top five pixie faves i already know that i've got at least another three that i could add into this video but if you want to see reviews of like any more pixie products or if you want to see like a top 10 like another top five then just let me know in the comments below but i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful let me know what your favorite pixie products are if there's anything that i haven't tried then of course i want to know all about it let me know in the comments below but thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye